So this is my trellis. My vegetable trellis or plant trellis. And uh, I, I did it myself with the help of my husband in trying to do this part. But the rest is I did it myself. So it's not really good. It's not very good, but still good enough for my vegetable to climb on. So this one is all recycled. The woods I use are these woods I use are leftover woods from the construction of our attic. So when we when we when we renovate our attic, we use some woods and there's a leftover woods. So I use this wood, the recycled wood or leftover woods to build a trellis. So this is the trellis I made. And everything I use here are all recycled. Even the strings to tie this wood, this recycled wood here are all recycled. See, everything is recycled except this one this is the only part i bought this one is also recycled pens an old pens i didn't throw it and i use it as a trellis for my vegetable i have i planted some vegetable climbing vegetables like the bitter melon see cucumber and another recycled trellis is this one so this this one is an old table from my daughter she, she, she used this one for her um, handmade handmade drugs so my daughter is making the handmade drugs and then um, my daughter is making a handmade drugs and and then he uses this uh, table like a small frame this is small frame actually for making drugs then she she replaced it with a new one she's trying to throw it out and I told her don't throw that frame I can have a better use of that frame and here it is in my backyard now I use it as a trellis for my bitter melon and malabar spinach and see So this is another recycled pens, old pens. I use it as a trellis for my squash. See those squash and these flowering plants. Probably two more weeks it will produce flowers, beautiful flowers. So I use this recycled pens, old pens as a trellis. For my squash I, I only need few tools in my gardens and the most important tools for me is this I'm not quite sure how, how you call this in English but in our Filipino language uh, actually in my own native language which is Kapampangan we call this sarol gamat yeah this is sarol gamat and um, but there's a uh, but, but but there's a right word for this in English, but I forgot it right now. So I'm just gonna word. I'm I'm just gonna use the word sarol gamat. So this one I learned to use these tools since I was ten years old. My grandmother taught me how to use this. 
because uh, when I was 10 years old, um, our source of livelihood is gardening. So as young as 10 years old, I already knew how to do gardening and I am very good at planting. So this is the most important tools for me in my gardening uh, activities. Without this, um, my gardening is not complete. You know, this, this tools makes my life easier in gardening. I, I know how to use this, this well and this is my most favorite tools. Second is shovel. I need shovel when I want, I want to dig a, a deeper hole on the ground. When, the, when I'm planting a plant that needs a deeper hole to plant it. So I use the shovel. And also I use the shovel to, to make sure that my soil, my soil, my ground soil is not too steep what you call it it's not too hard it must be loose so i have to dig it using the show bell and the third important thing in my gardening is this the small version of show bell see so i have a short one here when i want to sit down and do the the, the digging of the soil while sitting down or kneeling down but when i don't feel like kneeling down i'm using a small shovel with a long hand see this or long handle so this is the one when i don't want to kneel to kneel down or to sit down then this is the shovel i use the small one and i usually use this kind of small shovel when i'm trying to dig a soil inside a container but when i am digging a soil on the main ground not in the container i use this favorite tools of mine and the big shovel and i also use this favorite tools of mine um, in removing weeds and grasses those unnecessary weeds and grasses or wild grass wild plants in my garden if i want to remove them um, from the ground this is the tools i use it makes my job easier and then one of the tools also here, it's not so important, but I'm, I'm using it now. Like um, once in a while, I use it in cutting the, uh, you see those, so you see those um, uh, like a wild, wild uh, plants climbing on the fence. There are some wild plants cl climbing on the fence and some small tree, small trees. Um, I use I use this to cut the main stem or the main root the main stem between the root and the stem I cut using this equipment uh, tools especially the small plants those small white plants I use this one and last but not the least is my gloves or gloves so my gloves here I use my gloves regularly when planting and especially if I'm touching the soil. And then, um, I don't want to buy expensive tools, equipment in gardening. I just stay to the basic, the basic gardening with the basic tools and less expensive tools. I don't want to buy special equipment, special machine on my gardening. Um, even my garden is small or big. And the good thing about this um, basic tools or old style tools, um, um, it's a good way of exercising because uh, with the machine, you're just sitting down. Sometimes the machine do it for you. But with this manual tools, um, it gives you, it gives your body to exercise. I mean, literally you're using your hand, your whole body, your especially your hand and your feet in using this um in using this uh, tools it's a good way of exercising and then the sec uh the second thing that i'm trying to say aside from the i'm trying to say from i'm trying to avoid using expensive tools and expensive um equipment on my garden is the container i use recycle recycled containers for my plant so this is my this is our all recycled containers uh, i think this pills came came this container came from the 
um, from past food. Uh, they usually throw it in a recycle or in a garbage bin. And then what we do is um, we ask the owner to donate it to us instead of throwing out this container. And you know if you're going to buy this in a store, if you want to buy a container in a store for your plants, this kind of container, if I'm not mistaken, is cost you around 6 to $9 per container depending on the size so this one is like um uh six to nine dollars if i bought it if i buy it in a store so literally i'm saving on my containers so this is our uh, um second is you see this um what do you call this again wheels or in Tagalog, Filipino word, we call it gulong. Oh, so this is a recycled, um, what do you call the recycled rubber from the car. So I, I use this one wheels. This is from the wheels, right? This is from the wheels uh, of a car, uh, a rubber one that is going to be thrown out by my brother. Uh, it's already it is already worn out so what i what, what i do is i ask my brother to give it to me i can recycle it in planting my vegetable and ornamental plants this is flowering plants those are some flowers and different kinds of beautiful flowering plants and this is our onions onion chive so i ask my brother to give me my this rubber this old rubber, I recycle it and I use it for planting. I use it as a pot for my, or a container for my, for the soil where I can plant my vegetables. And then, another way of saving is these sticks or dry woods. Did you know where did I get these dry woods? Well, whenever me and my husband is fishing, I started to collect woods. When I see dry woods floating or nearby the lake, I pick it up and bring it home. In, in Filipino words, we call that pangangahoy or nangangahoy. So literally, uh, I am nangangahoy in Canada. <laughs> see? Uh, no, I, 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 used, I used to... I used to uh, I, I used to do pangangahoy in the Philippines and I never thought that I'm going to do the same thing here in Canada. So this is are the dry woods from the mini forest here in Canada. Um, uh, it was um, I found it in a, I found it on the mini forest of Canada or near the lakes, and so I pick it up and bring it home to make it a trellis for my vegetable. Literally, I'm gonna use these woods, dry woods. To, as a trellis and a stick for my plants here see those so especially my squash and bitter melon I'm gonna use this dry woods um, to fence and to support my vegetables and use as a trellis for my climbing vegetable so see I save money do you know how much it costs you for this stick if you're gonna buy a stick in a store or in a um, garden store um, if you're gonna buy this as a supply uh, one stick in the store it costs you around three dollars to six dollars per one stick of wood so literally i'm saving money for that and then i also re recycled any stick in my house here see this any sticks I found in my house that is can no longer reuse that I can no longer use inside my house I use it as a stick to support my plants see this like the sunflower the sunflower needs a support to stand properly and to stand on its own especially when it has a flowers it needs a stick so I don't throw out any stick that I can no longer um, use inside the house I keep it and I recycle it using as a stick 
to support my vegetables to support my plants and another thing is this you see this these are the woods these are the cut woods or yeah this is are the woods leftover or recycled woods from construction or renovation of our house so whenever there's a construction or renovation inside our house sometimes um, we use woods and sometimes there's, a, there's an old wood that needs to, re to be removed i don't throw it out i keep it and i use it as a wood or i use it as a stick for my plants see sample this one i can use this stick to support one of my sunflower so literally i use recycled woods from our leftover woods from renovation and house construction so i keep these old woods i recycle them in my garden and another thing which i say from is composting okay here so you see this bag of um so this is are the see these are different commercial soil um one thing i say from this is um i don't buy the expensive um type of commercial soil usually i choose the most cheapest commercial soil i can buy and it, sometimes i even wait for these soils to be on sale or on discount before I purchase. So I have to wait for, I only buy the cheapest soil, planting soil or commercial soil I could buy. And then I, I usually try to buy them in sale or in bulk. When you say bulk, if you just buy one bags of it, sometimes it costs you, let's say this one is $4. If you buy three bags, they give you only for three fifty. So I'm going to buy in three bags to get the 50 cents extra off or discount. And then the second one is um, uh, instead of buying 10 bags of commercial soil, what I do is I do composting. Compost is a very good source of having extra soil uh, after a few months and the soil is, is so healthy for your vegetable. So what I do is... Whenever I remove the weeds from my garden, see this? These are the grasses, wild grass and weeds from my garden. I remove it. I don't throw it, even the dry leaves, I don't throw it on the garbage. What I do is I compost it. Um, you see this dry, dry grass which um, came from my wild grass? When I, when I am trying to remove the grass, wild grass, wild weeds in my garden i don't throw it right so what i do is i save it i let it dry and then i compost it so you see you see those potatoes potato plants need a loose well-drained soil so what i do is instead of using two bags of um, uh, commercial soil for one per one pail or per one container I need only to use half bags I save a lot in soil because what I do is you see this recycled container see I put a hole on this container and then I I put some soil here in the container on the bottom a little bit of soil and then I mix it with this dry grass and dry grass is uh, can um, can be sub is, is a good substitute for haze and then mix this dry grass with this commercial soil like a, a, a like in between soil and then grass then I add another soil and then grass again until this container spill out and then i'm gonna water it then leave it for five days after five days it, it, um, 
I'm, I begin to plant my potato in here and carrot and uh, a combination of this soil uh, a combination of this grass and this soil is a good planting soil for root crops like potato and carrot so I save I literally save from um, from buying too much soil so instead of buying five bags of soil or 10 bags of commercial soil I ended up buying only four bags because what I do in planting is I mix up this soil from the recycled uh, from the from the dry grass so next one is see I compost all the vegetables see those bananas oranges grapefruit eggs onions eggplants any kind of vegetables I, re I, I compost it so I don't know if I, uh, I compost that to save on soil because instead of using one bag of soil I use half bag of soil only add the mixture of compost then I can save half bags of soil another thing I save is containers these are recycled containers see everything in my garden is recycled so you see this one this one is um, recycled pail. This is a recycled container I use for watering. Even my scoop uh, water, water differ. They call it water tea, wa water differ, or what do you call this? Tabo in Filipino, where they call it tabo, where uh, you use it to scoop the water, and then using to dry uh, to water your plants. So this even this is recycled and my pail are also recycled so what i do is i save in water i use rain water as of now there's no water in here because i'm waiting for the rain to come but once the rain comes in i collect there so that is our roof then here going down here so this is where i collect the rain water and in the middle of the rain for as long as there's no th thunderstorm i when this one is already full with water i transfer the water to this small container until every container is filled in see that so water here we live in a city so the water is expensive so i try to save in water as much as i can this is my biggest savings actually the water uh, what I do is I fill out every container I could fill in. See? I, actually, I have additional water here. Uh, additional container here. So, see this? So, another source of rainwater there. See? Then, I have an extra one there. there. So, once these containers are all filled in with rainwater, I could say one week supplies of water for my plants literally i save one week of water i can use for wa for watering my garden and um so this is strings different kind of strings to tie my plants on the stick or in a um, trellis are also recycled this 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 one is came from the whenever I bought base whenever I buy vegetable in the store and the and the vegetable is tied up using this one. I keep it and I recycle it to use in my vegetable. So this one I use this one to tie my vegetable on the trellis or on the sticks. So even this one is recycled. I don't buy it. So, so this is my whole garden. See, I have a healthy vegetable, super green, super healthy, without spending so much money. See, these are my grapes. Oh, I love, I love the grapes, see? And my Malabar spinach.